deadly is their alt in real life tier list? Holy moly, Ruben's doing another tier list. Who would have anticipated this? Now, you might be thinking, Ruben, what do you mean by that? Let me, let me, let me, let me set some guidelines here. We'll start off, off with the top tier, which is no evidence of your corpse. Someone that would go in th this tier is Farah. She has barrage. She shoots like a billion majillion rockets at you. I'm pretty sure like one rocket would be enough to kill you, but she shoots like a billion of them. So you're going to be like extra Omega dead and there will be no evidence of your corpse, just like the name of the tier says. And maybe an unexpected pick for this tier would be Zarya. She has a black hole that she shoots out of her gun. Tell me how that wouldn't kill you and erase any part of you in real life. What do you mean? No, it's a literal, it's literally a black hole. I'm not sure how it wouldn't kill Zarya and everything around the black hole, but it would most certainly kill you without a shadow of a doubt. Next tier, this is like, you're still dead, but you know, your body will still be there. So I'll just call it dead. And you know, somebody, somebody that you might think would go in this tier, but I don't think she does. Diva, right there. It's like not really a nuke. It's just a really big bomb that would blow you up. And I'm sure someone would be able to find your body. I'm gonna be honest. Your body's still gonna be there. That, it, it, like people say it's a literal nuke. It's not a literal nuke. It's just, it's just like kind of a nuke. So I, I think she, she, she fits in this tier pretty well. Oh, 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 the other tiers, other tiers. Um, you might be, you might look at a few of these heroes and be like, oh, this, this isn't gonna hurt me at all whatsoever. So like, okay, I guess. Also, I need a tier below this for things that would actively help you. No, that's why are you typing backwards? Oh yeah, a little, little smiley face. So things that would like actively help you go away. Things that would actively help you. I think Zen's ult would help you. I mean, the whole premise is that he's actively healing you. So like say if somebody blows your arm, maybe not blows your arm off. I'm, I'm not sure if it has that kind of regenerative property, but like, I don't know, somebody you know, stabs you and then Zen trance is next to you. I think that'd be good. I think that'd help you out, right? Right? Brig ult would go crazy in this category too. Why would Brig ult be useful for you at all in real life? Giving you over health? What the fuck is over health in real life? life. It's not a thing. How would that- it, 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 She would rally next to you and you'd be like, okay, cool. Kind of like widow ulting. Like, oh, you have walls on people now? I guess? I, I, I don't- uh, like, She just activates walls like, okay, cool. That doesn't really do anything, though. Kind of like- Okay, no, Bastion. No, I don't know why I brought up Bastion. If this was pre-buff Bastion, I would put his ult in like this tier. Because my argument would be you just literally walk away. You have like a five minute notice of when that thing is gonna land. And now that it's actual- like mortar falling from the sky, it would, it would kill you. Artillery strike, obliterate your corpse. I mean, if he just hits you once, it would just kill you. Not obliterate your corpse. You know, I think that would be a little bit far. Uh, the other tier that I forgot to mention, critical condition. It would hurt a lot. It would hurt a lot. Not sure if it would kill you though. So like Hammond Mines, I think if you walked into a Hammond Mine, you would lose your legs. But you could live, in my opinion. I'm, I'm gonna assume you're not stupid and you're not gonna walk into multiple Hammond Mines, but if you walked into one Hammond Mine, you would live. You'd be fine. You're dead. No, I think you just lose, lose your legs. It would hurt, you know, end up in the hospital, but you would live. You know who does walk into multiple Hammond Mines, Ruben? You? Listen, I'm colorblind. I have an excuse. I can't can see them. They float. I don't care. It's just a teeny little tiny explosion. You'd be fine. You would literally be fine. Uh, Echo? I think Echo copies you. Okay, I guess. I mean, what does Echo copying you really do? Oh, this tier. Ouch. So just like hurt a little bit, not kill you. It would do more than nothing, which is this tier. Who do you guys think would go in ouch tier? I want to know. Also, I, I want to know who else you think belongs in no evidence of your corpse tier. Ramatra? May? Ouch? Um, oh, Anna, I think, would be ouch. Uh, she, na her nano boost is a, m a needle filled with steroids flying at you at, like, Mach 10. I feel like that would hurt. I feel like that would be ouch. I feel like nano boost would have no practical benefit in real life, but it also heals you. In real life, would that heal you? I feel like nano boost isn't, it would be like an EpiPen, dangerous if you don't need it. That's what I'm saying. Also, it's a needle flying at you 
really, really fast. I feel like that would be ouch. Oh, Sombra. Okay, so Sombra, in game, it does 40% of your HP damage, and it's an EMP. Do we know what an EMP is? Wait, I need to actually search. Electromagnetic pulse. Out of game, it would fry your phone. Exactly. It's just meant to knock out, like, electronic stuff. So I'm gonna put her in ouch. Ruben, why would you put her in ouch if it knocks off electronics? Well, I mean, what if you have, like, a pacemaker, you know? What if you have, like, a... You, what if you have a thing in your heart? Yeah, exactly. Pacemakers. Yeah, you might have a pacemaker, or you might have, like, an electronic robotic leg, and she disables that, and it's like, ouch, and now I can't really walk like I anticipated when I walked out of the house today. So I feel like she goes in ouch tier. Bob, on the other hand, would Bob shoot you? Under the assumption that Bob shoots you, I'm gonna put her in ouch tier. Or not ouch tier, critical condition tier. He just shoots you. You know, I feel like... Okay, on the off chance that Bob does shoot you, which I don't... What reason would Bob have to shoot you? If Bob does shoot you, if he can throw you up in the air... Okay, I'm not gonna assume that he's gonna knock you up into the air. I think he's just gonna shoot you. I think you just kind of walk away, and then you're out. You're, you're, you know, you're a little bit of a bullet sponge. You're, you're, you have a few holes in your body. Ultimately, I think you'd live. I think you would be fine. And he was assuming Ash told him to shoot you. Yeah, so I feel like if Bob shot you enough, you'd be dead, but at the end of the day, he's just kind of shooting you. Would you know how many times he shoots you? Per me, personally, I wouldn't get shot very much, so I'm gonna put her in critical condition here. Lucio! In-game, he gives you a beat. He drops the beat. He gives you a bunch of shield HP. That's cool, right? That's, that's, that's nice, right? No, it's not nice. It's not nice at all. I feel like it would blow your eardrums out, and that would be ouch. I feel like Lucio would absolutely wreck your, t your wreck your ears. Your ears would be demolished. You'd have tinnitus for the rest of your life after he drops the beat once next to you. You just go really fast? I don't think that would work in real life. I don't think that's how it works. Why do all these things that heal you go and ouch? Are you gonna argue that an Anna shooting a giant syringe filled with some unknown juice wouldn't hurt? That would hurt. That would hurt a lot. Teeny little tiny explosion. You'd be fine. Cassidy, how the fuck would healing itself work in real life? It doesn't. This is in real life, not in game. It's not the same thing. Actually, wait, Deadeye is okay because he can only ever use it at high noon? I don't think it is. I think he makes it noon whenever he ults. I think he makes it I think he makes it noon whenever he ults. This guy's never taken medicine. You've never had auditory medicine applied to you. You've never had a guy shove his gun into the ground to blow your eardrums out. What right do you have to speak on this more than I do? I think Cassidy, I think, I think you'd die. Because he like really focuses up and he shoots one bullet at you and then you die. Actually, Cassidy aims for center mass whenever he shoots on you. So he would actually shoot you in the heart. So I think you'd die if he ulted you. Genji! I don't know where to put Genji. He, he swipes at you a few times with his sword, cuts you up into little pieces, or maybe he swipes at you a couple times with his sword. Okay. Okay, here's how I see it. Hanzo almost killed Genji by basically Genji ulting him. And that's why he had to get this, like, cyborg suit so that he wouldn't die. But he didn't kill him. Hanzo Genji ulted Genji and didn't kill him. He lived. But at the same time, I don't think that kind of, you know, mercy cyborg healthcare exists in the present. So I think you would just die. You get fucking cut in half. Yeah, I think you would die if Genji attacked you with his ult. If Genji had nano, he would be dead, but he wouldn't get his one shot. I think he swipes at you a couple times and you're you're cut up into ribbons. Hanzo! I'm gonna be honest, I have no f***ing clue where to put this guy. I guess in critical condition, what would a spirit dragon be in real life that he shoots at you? I feel like it'd just be ouch. You walk out of it, right? What are spirit dragons gonna do? To they're gonna eat you, Sasha. That's what they're gonna do. I think just a projection. I think, okay. Considering it does hurt, I think, I think, I think it would be ouch, like critical condition ouch, not just ouch, ouch. Spectral dragons are hard. I, I think it would hurt. I think it would suck the juice out of you. Hit himself, but they're his dragons. I don't think they hurt him. I think it would send you to the hospital for sure. Unlike Junkrat Alt, you would just be dead, right? I mean, it's just remote controlled tire rigged with explosives. It's just, you would die. I, I, I you, there would, there would still be evidence of your corpse because there's just one big explosion, but not like a billion little explosions and not a literal black hole. I had an extensive debate with Squanchy about where Sigma would be. Because here's the thing about Sigma. 
he picks you up in the air, like what, 10, 20 feet off, 20 feet off, the, 20, yeah, we'll, we'll say 20 feet in the air. He picks you up and he throws you really fast at the floor. In game, it does half your HP damage, but half your HP damage doesn't really exist. You would be mush on the ground. I think you would break your legs. I think your legs get broken and I think you live. He just slams you on the ground from like what, 20 feet up? That's not that big of a deal. Go into the practice range right now. Okay, okay, uh, all right, okay, fine. Let me, let me show, let me show. This is like, that's not that fast. You guys are way too overdramatic about this. Your spine is broken, so you die. If you break your spine, you don't die. It just, you get paralyzed. He increases gravity. He doesn't increase gravity. He just throws you at the floor really fast. Someone on the internet said 32 feet. whoop de doo 32 feet. I break my ankle. Big deal. Moving on. May. May? Dead, super dead, flash freeze. I don't think you can flash freeze a person to death. You get extremely severe frostbite. Okay, for how long does the ult last? It doesn't last that long. Okay, in-game you get frozen after like a second or two. If I dipped you in liquid nitrogen for six seconds, you would be dead? No, I'd be fine. I think she goes in ouch tier. Flash freezing is a thing, man. We do it. I don't think... It would hurt that bad. You get frozen for like a couple seconds. That's fine. OW wiki. How long does this shit last? It lasts for four seconds. Do you know how many people die in blizzards? How long do blizzards last? They last way longer than four seconds. I can tell you that much. In four seconds, your ass is not getting frozen solid like a popsicle in game. This is not a thing that happens. Blizzards don't freeze you solid in two seconds. Exactly. Exactly. Those people aren't frozen solid. I don't think it's possible for you to be frozen to frozen solid within this span of time. We're from California. That'll kill us. Put a fucking Canadian in a May alt and they would literally be per They would literally be in colon capital D tier. Isn't her gun liquid nitrogen? I don't fucking know what her gun is, but it wouldn't hurt that bad. I think ouch tier. Maybe critical condition tier. Maybe you go to the hospital because your fingers freeze off. Okay. Frostbite is critical condition. You know what? Okay, fair enough. I'll put her in critical tier, but not death. I, you absolutely survive a male IRL without question. Dip your hand in liquid nitrogen for two seconds. I can assure you I could dip my hand in liquid nitrogen for four seconds and I would still have my hand do it. If I stuck my hand in a tub of liquid nitrogen, I would keep my hand. You would certainly lose your hand. You guys sound like fucking pussies to me. I'm sorry. Hi, YouTube. Yo, YouTubers. Have you subscribed yet? You should really do that. Chat, stare at the YouTube people to make them subscribe right now. Say hi to them and stare at them. Peer pressure them into subscribing. Doomfist. I don't know where to put Doom. Like a, a big man with a big fist falls from the sky and punches you really hard. Squishes you. Um, I mean, considering it would be from above and it would land on your head, I think you would die. I, I think you would die. I'm going to be honest. I think you're dead. Because like in real life, there wouldn't be an indicator on the floor. Like, hey, Doomfist is landing here. He'd kind of just land on you. I think the energy just might make your body disappear. I think, I think you'd be okay. Not okay. Like, your body would be intact. It would be, st it would still be there. Your body would still be there. But, but you would die. I think that, I think this is pretty okay. I'm really not sure about May being in critical condition. I'm moving May down to Oh, Okay, never mind. I'm, pu I'm putting her back. I'm putting her back. Okay, okay. I'm putting her back. I put her back, dude. All right, I put her back. Reaper? Um, um, I feel like you would die. Okay, no. Hear me out. Hear me out. Reaper ulting, you lay down, and then it doesn't hurt as much when he shoots his shotguns at you in a circle. Because realistically, he's just spinning in a circle, shooting his shotguns really fast. I think that would hurt a lot. Um, I think you just lay down on the floor. He still fucking shoots you. He's not really aiming at you. It's in a sphere. I guess it is a sphere. I, I I guess you die from Reaper ult, I suppose. Sojourn ult, I really want to put in this here because this shit is still fucking busted. At, at the time of recording this video, three months into the game, she is still busted and she's still hard meta. Her ult is still fucking ridiculous. And I kind of want to put her in this tier out of spite. However, I live that railgun easily. Not if it's at your fucking dome. I'm sorry. I think it, you just die. You just die. She she domes you with this thing a few times. You're fucking dead. Kind of same with soldier. Soldier, he, he's got it. He cannot miss you. 
you will die. It doesn't do 200 damage. She can shoot you more than once. She can shoot you. Wait, video proves you can safely stick your hand in liquid nitrogen. He submerged his hand in liquid nitrogen in the name of science. You guys are fucking stupid. You know what? Just because of that, ouch tear. You guys are stupid. That article just proved my point. Thank you, Vent. Four seconds! Four seconds! Four! Four seconds! It just hurt a little bit! The key is, Gray's hand was only under for a split second. For only under a split second? Let me see this. That's like four seconds. This, that's like three seconds. Yeah, you guys are fucking stupid. I'm sorry. Yeah, you live those. <laughs> Uh, that's that's like three seconds right there. If he left it in there for like another second, that would be that would even, even be perfectly fine. My hand would be okay. That was that was basically three seconds. Sim, Sim, yo guys, ranking Symmetra next. I mean, she puts up a really big wall, and it doesn't really do anything but be a big wall. So um, count the frames. Yeah, it was like at least Sim. We can agree that uh, she's uh, colon capital D. You'd be safe from everything. What do you need to be safe from? I, I can walk out onto. The the street sim puts up a wall the spider can walk through the wall it's hard light it wouldn't do anything it, 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 sim puts up her wall you look at it wow it's a cool wall it, it, okay i guess thanks what if i was getting shot at you're not getting shot at then what then it's just a stupid wall that lasts for like what eight seconds 15 seconds i don't i don't even remember pulse bomb um what if someone was throwing liquid not well if someone is throwing liquid pulse bomb i think you die unless it gets thrown at your feet then it just you know blows off your foot but i think you die from a pulse bomb no no if someone throws it at your foot you're you're, you're probably dead it's a big enough explosion where it would kill you torb all i think it would hurt a lot you stand in his comb and you like what lose your feet that does hurt a lot. Torb is ouch. Torb's ult is literal lava. Yeah, you don't die from it. You walk out of it. You walk out of the ult, you're not dead. But for the moment that you are in the ult, it burns your fucking feet off. It's not a lot of lava. Yeah, it's not that much. You're just a little, you can't walk away from lava. What, are you telling me? Are you telling me that if there is a fucking puddle of lava right here, or like up to here in the lava, you're telling me you don't walk out of the lava and your feet are like a little toasty? Oh no, you don't have feet anymore. Oh, that sucks. Okay, but you're still alive though. Literal worst case scenario, you fall. You you do a little Anakin Skywalker moment. You fall and half your body is in the lava. Ouch. You lose like this much of you. But this much of you is still okay. So you live. You like put a band-aid over the part. Okay, okay. The, the legs are too short. Okay, wait, 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 no. But you still have, like, your pelvis. This is your pelvis, and you still have it. You would live. It would hurt a lot. You would, you would, you know, almost die. He showers you in it. It only spawns on the floor. No, I'm not going under the assumption that Torb is actively ulting on top of you. I'm going under the assumption that you, like, walk into it. Or no, you, you're standing there, and then he shoots it, and then it lands at your feet, and you're like, ouch, my feet, and then you, like, fall and or walk out of it. This is real life, though. I'm not going under optimal circumstances for Torb here, okay? But if I were, if my feet were in lava, I'd be ouch, ouch, ouch. I lose my feet and then I step out and then I don't have feet and then um, I'm alive. Who's gonna save you if you're in the lava? Uh, Emperor Palpatine is gonna come pick me up, take me to the fucking laboratory and fix me up and then I'll be Darth Vader. That's what's gonna happen. Ruben, please Google this. Go f*** yourself. I stand in lava. I'm okay. I just lose my feet. Go watch Dante's Inferno. That's a movie. I'm not gonna use a movie to back up my point. I don't think so. So Torb's ult equals becoming Darth Vader? Yeah, you just Anakin Skywalker and then you become Darth Vader and you're still alive. Junker Queen! Junker Queen! Guys, look, Junker Queen, we're moving on to Junker Queen. <laughs> Here is something I noticed about Junker Queen's ult, okay? Play Overwatch. Here's something I noticed about Junker Queen's ult. Do I need to point this out to you? She swings it at you backwards. The the axe part of her axe isn't the part that's hitting you. It's the back part of the axe. You see that? You see that? That part of the axe is what's hitting you. Her axe swings backwards at you. You still get your head blown off? I don't think so. It changes. I don't care. I think uh, she goes at you really fast. She hits you once with the axe because she's going so fast. And you get knocked like a baseball. But you wouldn't die and you would live. So she goes in critical condition here. You're forgetting the bleeds? Okay, ouch. I'm bleeding. I put a band-aid on. Big f***ing deal. You can't be saved though. It's anti-heal. Anti-heal doesn't 
fucking exist in real life. I'm sorry to admit it to you, bomb. I'm sorry to admit it to you, bomb. All right. Somebody just walks up to you with a band-aid, maybe some stitches, and you're good. She takes away her insurance. Okay, now that would be that 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 bump her up to here. But assuming she doesn't take away your insurance. Oh, by the way, this is all under the assumption that you have good insurance. I know that's a lot to ask for, but this entire tier list is based on you having good insurance. So like, yeah, if you walk into Hammond Mine and you live in America and you're not a multi-billion trillionaire, uh, you're, you're probably dead. But if you have like solid insurance, you'd live. Australia has socialized healthcare. That is wonderful to hear. Baptiste, very much okay, question mark tier. Okay, cool. You put up a, like a see-through garage window that amplifies the effects of weapons that I don't have and abilities that I don't have. So thanks. That's a cool window. That's a cool little IMAX screen door. I could throw a rock at you and fucking murder. Okay, first of all, it would do double damage. If you threw a rock at me, it would hurt more than if you normally threw a rock at me, but it still wouldn't hurt that much. And also, nobody is throwing rocks at me. It's just a window. Ruben, you don't have people to throw rocks at you every time you check the mail? Dude, I gotta move out of this neighborhood. I'll fucking evac you out, Vent. I got you. Kiriko, also okay tier. No, you know what? Colon capital D tier. Because at least you run faster in it. Because you run faster in it, and that's cool. Thanks, I appreciate it. I mean, what else? That's literally it. Valk! Damage boost me. What? Why is that useful? I'm just chilling. I'm just a dude. I'm not fighting anybody. I Okay, I guess. I mean, sure. What about her gun that shoots the biggest bolts that she's ever seen? She's not using it on me because Valk doesn't do anything to you. Yeah, Valk is kind of just okay, I guess. That's like saying Soldier's Ult is okay because he doesn't have to shoot you. No, it's not because the primary characteristic that the whole ultimate is that he has aimbot on you. Mercy, the whole point of Valk is the Mercy gets super buffed up and she can fly around and her beam splits to different people and I I guess her gun has infinite bullets and uh shoots faster but i don't think like that's not really okay so what infinite ammo it's a mass shooting i don't think mercy's doing a mass shooting i'm gonna be honest chat i think when we're talking about valk we're mainly talking about the splitty beam and flying around but she could yeah but she won't too bad i she's staying in this tier she's not moving anywhere else you. Now, what confuses me? Moira's ult. Moira's ult heals you if you're her teammate and hurts you if you're not her teammate. There is no way to distinguish. Also, by the way, there's friendly fire in real life because there's no magical force preventing you from being shot by a friendly guy. So it either heals you or hurts you. Um, Either way, I feel like the way that it heals you would be kind of ouch and the way that it damages you would also be kind of ouch, you know? Orissa, I think would be ouch. I mean, what? She sticks her javelin into the floor really hard and like does an earthquake. And then you get like knocked off your feet. I don't think that would put you in critical condition and cause an explosion. Honestly, I don't think the explosion is cool enough. You get sucked into it. Yeah, and then you just like walk away. I think it would just hurt a little bit. The javelin is spinning around in front of you. Yeah, you just walk away. Like kinetic and it's kinetic energy though. Yeah, so it'd be like an earthquake and then you'd hurt, but not, okay. I don't think Orissa's alt would hurt nearly as much as any of these ults. I think she sticks her javelin into the ground and it does an earthquake and knocks you off your feet and ouch, you get a boo-boo on your elbow and that's the end of the story. I think you'd be okay. Unless you are under the javelin, which you're not going to be. So, have you seen the movie 2012? I'm not gonna use movies to cite my arguments. Sorry, Arissa's staying in ouch tier. Didn't you use Star Wars earlier? I don't know what you're talking about. If you think that I use Star Wars to cite, up, cite one of my arguments and back them up, you are out of your fucking mind. Also, Ram is going in ouch tier. His all like it's basically a disease that slowly drains your life till you have no chance of survival yeah you just walk out of it ram literally sucks your life essence but it never ends what if he follows you um that's a good question yeah if he follows you i guess critical condition oh you know what you could do you could walk into a maze and there's like a bunch of turns in the maze and you los the ult and then you would live and it wouldn't hurt that bad everyone is an ouch ouch here because you just move no okay i think i really think he's an ouch here yeah yeah let me just find a fucking maze okay dude sorry Enter an apartment building. Is that more realistic for you? Is that more real? Enter an apartment building. Enter a door. Close the door. Boom. There's like a second off of his alt. There's like a second off of his alt. You go through. You open and close three doors. Boom. His alt is over. whoop de fucking do. whoop de do. whoop de fucking do. whoop de do. 
Yes. He'll just break through it. I think he has more decency than to cause property damage. Run! This one's tricky. Because if you're close enough to his ult, he one-taps you with a giant hammer on top of your head. But I'm assuming you're not being one-tapped by the hammer on top of your head. So I would put him in ouch tier. He slams the floor. You get knocked down to your feet. Not critical condition. Not dead. Is Ramatra capable of opening doors? Have you not seen Game Theory's video on Earth Shatter? It's just a fucking little teeny tiny earthquake. You would live. I'm gonna smash your Okay, I'm assuming that he doesn't slam the hammer directly onto your head. Like the typical usage of Earth Shatter where you stun someone with it. No! The hammer is not going on your skull. You're like five feet away. Okay, you're five feet away. He slams the hammer on the floor in front of you. You get knocked down onto the floor. Ouch. You just assume he's bad at ulting. I'm assuming I'm not in f***ing strangling range from him. Ruben cannot wait for the interact. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, by the way. I'm just saying, I make more fire tier lists for you to watch and enjoy. Ruben has no concept of what, pe what kills people. I think your guys' concept of what kills people is you guys are f***ing weak beyond belief. Roadhog. Okay, here's the thing. Roadhog ult knocks you back and fills your body with scrap. It's shrapnel sprayed into your body. Yeah, but it's like really spread out in like a really wide cone and it knocks you back. Here's what would happen. Roadhog ults you. You get knocked back. The further you get knocked back, the less it hurts you. Um, what if you're stuck in a room? You're not stuck in a room. He's not ulting you into a corner. <laughs> Please tell me how you're gonna survive. Okay, maybe if he is ulting you and fills your body with shrapnel, maybe you do die. It's a bunch of tiny metal pieces lodged into your body. Yeah, I feel like you would possibly survive that. I feel like you could survive that. I feel like it wouldn't hurt that bad. <laughs> Ruben Alt does this and they go in out here. <laughs> If I'm getting blasted by a full auto mega shotgun, there is nothing left. I, okay, you know, I don't think no evidence of your corpse. I think your corpse is still there. Metal scraps is just bigger bullets though. No, there is not a no evidence here. I've been hit with birdshot from around 100 yards away. It didn't hurt, but it really pissed me off. So maybe he goes and ouch here upon this, uh, upon receiving this. Okay, I think you die from Roadhog Ult. Winton, for Winton, we're gonna be under the assumption that he's mad at you, okay? Winton is upset at you. He is ulted. He is tossing you around. At the end of the day, Day, though he is just a big monkey tossing you around i don't think you would die i think you could withstand a bit of hummelage also winton also only hits you with the back of his palms you know he only hits you with the back of his palms he like slams you into into a wall i think you'd be in critical condition i think you get fucked up and you go to the hospital and you're gonna have to spend a long time recovering <laughs> you're telling me you can 1v1 a literal gorilla? You're telling me you can't 1v1 a literal fucking gorilla? Critical. I think critical. Do you know how strong gorillas are? Yeah, he just slams you really hard into a wall and keeps slamming you into a wall for however long his ult lasts and then you live at the end of the day. I think you live. Think about Harambe? Yeah, he didn't hurt the kid, but he's an angry gorilla. That's the whole point of his ult is that he's angry. So he's slamming you into a wall, beating you up. So he, you go you go to critical condition, you go to the hospital, but you live. Trauma? Not me though. Smacking into you the beyond repeatedly pummeling you would probably kill you, but over the course of like how long? Okay, wait. Winston Overwatch. How long does the ult last again? Um, 10 seconds? You live. He he pummels you back. He pummels you back into a corner for a little bit for 10 seconds. You don't die. Like you might die if you're like a child. And that is the final tier list chat. Woo! Yo, puggers. Let's go. That's the final tier list. This is this tier list is final. There will be no changes made. If you have any problems with anyone that I ranked in your opinion incorrectly, be sure to leave it in the comment section below. Make sure to like, subscribe, follow my Twitch where you can find me doing these tier lists. Um, thank you so much for watching. Bye, YouTube frogs. Bye.